Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you four different redstone contraptions that you can actually use in survival Minecraft. So I have a lot of builds like this one that are really cool to see in creative, but no one's going to build this thing in survival. But these four are all things that I've made in survival before and should be able to help you a lot. So let's get right into it. So this first one is just an automatic wheat micro farm. So if we turn it on, it starts bone mealing. And then we can just hold left click and tap right click whenever it grows. Every little while though, you'll just have to click on a different block so that you don't break the dirt. Now I'm going to turn it off and this is all of the redstone. So we just have a lever that goes into a redstone line that goes into an observer clock that's controlled by this piston. And then we just have three dispensers with redstone powering them like this. Next we have a sorting system. This one is designed by Impulse SV and it's like one of the best things ever. Um, you probably know how these work already. You just put a bunch of items in the top chests. And they all get sorted down into the bottom ones. So I have three different things being sorted here. I have quartz, chests, and redstone. And then this last one is just the overflow. So to build one slice of this, you just need a couple chests. And then you need to put hoppers behind all the chests. Put a temporary block, but it doesn't need to be temporary here, with a hopper pointing into it. And then you can have your row of hoppers coming across the top for the input. Now where the top chest is, you need to place three blocks like this. Redstone comparator here, and two redstone dust there. Another block here, redstone torch here, another block here, a repeater here and a block there with redstone on top of it. And for example, if we wanted to make it sort out redstone dust, we would go across the top and then put the rest of it in there and it should filter down to 41. There it is. And now if we put some random stuff in this hopper, the repeaters should just go across the top and the redstone dust will come down into the chest. This next one is a secret entrance, and even if you're on a single player world and you're not trying to hide a base from anyone, it's still a really cool thing to make. So for this one, you just need to throw any item onto this flower, and then you'll be dropped down into the bottom. Hmm, I wonder what this could be. And then just press the button, and your item will come back to you, and you'll get bounced up to the top. This is all of the redstone that you need. You just need a hopper minecart up there going into a hopper, which goes into a dispenser. And coming out from the hopper, you just need a comparator going into a target block with a redstone torch on the top, and redstone dust down there, and a piston there. And that's the whole system for getting in. And to get out, you just need a redstone torch there, redstone dust, redstone torch, redstone dust, into a repeater on four ticks. And then above that redstone torch, you need a block with a torch on top of it, and another block here, and two redstone dust there. And that is the whole thing. And the last thing that we have is a simple auto smelter. So in the back, you can put fuel. It can be any kind of fuel. Uh, I just, I, feel, I just feel like putting sticks in right now. And then in the top you have whatever you want to smelt, and it should go into the furnace and start smelting. And when it starts smelting, the indicator light should turn on, and when it's done smelting, and when it's done smelting, the light should turn off. Come on. There we go. So to build this, you just need two hoppers going into a chest with two furnaces on top of them, two hoppers going into the back with a chest on top of them, and two more hoppers going into the top with, you guessed it, a chest on top of them. And then we just need a repeater facing this way with a sticky piston behind it and a composter that is and about a half full composter on top of it with a comparator coming out into a block with redstone dust on top of it, which will power this block, which will power the redstone lamp. And that's the whole thing. Those are four different redstone contraptions that you should be making in survival mode. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like and consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.